Okay. So, welcome back to our another video with regards to the graph data structures. So, we'll uh, continue in terms of the deletion operation of adjacency using the adjacency matrix. Now, let's continue here then. For, for the adjacency matrix, to remove a vertex from the graph, we need to check if that vertex exists or not. Then we need to shift the rows to the left and the columns upwards of the adjacency matrix so that the row and column values of the given vertex gets replaced by the values of the next vertex and then decrease the number of vertices by one. Removing the ver uh, For removing the vertices in the graphs, it means that, for example, if you remove there a specific um, item, if you want to remove the B, so of course, you will remove automatically, for example, um, here, both B and both B rows and column, you will just automatically remove that in your uh, in your matrix since you remove that, uh, you actually remove a certain vertex in your adjacency matrix. So let's try to figure it out. How does it work? For vertex deletion for undirected graph using the adjacency matrix, this is how it works. Suppose that you do have a graph here then about that and what you will need to do, you can get first the adjacency matrix and you can check the adjacency matrix that in the previous video. And by the way, this will be the representation of the adjacency matrix for that one. And for this one here, uh, your goal is removing the node C. So in order for you to remove the node C, you will just um, automatically remove this one and also remove the um edges or the adjacency from C to A and A to C, C to D and D to C. So instead of editing that into zero, the AC, for example, AC, instead of you will begin to automatically um update that into zero, but you will just remove that in your matrix. So your matrix will become something like this later on. So you already removed the C right here. So in your matrix, it will become like this. So we, you don't have the uh, the C vertex um, rows and columns already since that is equals to zero. Since your vertex is not here, so that's why you will not include the, uh, the C in here since that is not belong to the matrix already. So that's how you will do that. You will automatically remove the row and the, col uh, the column of that specific vertex then. So let's figure out for the directed graph the same thing. So suppose that in your directed graph, you wanted to remove the node A. So this is your node A. And your for your adjacency matrix, you will automatically the same thing. You will remove the row and column since you will remove the node A and it's, it was being removed here. So automatic, you remove the row and the column for that one. And the vertices being left here is the B, C, D, and E. That, that will be your adjacency matrix when you transform or remove the node A already. So that's the end of our video for the deletion operation for uh, using the adjacency matrix. matrix. So see, uh, since we are done with our um tutorials thank you so much uh for that one and see you in the next video that i will also be going through um continue in terms of the spanning tree so see you there